they are the southernmost occurring mammal on the, on the face of the earth, which makes for an interesting study to say, how does a, a warm-blooded mammal survive uh, in such extre extreme conditions? They hunt uh, below the ice, so our study really focuses on, uh, on eating uh, and how the animals survive uh, in terms of when they eat, how they eat, um, you know, how often and all that. What constitutes a successful dive? They eat fish and squid and at the end of the winter especially the ice pack is basically completely covers the sound where we do our study so there's only tidal ice cracks and things like that. Only small openings in the ice and the ice is anywhere from you know five to six foot thick to 20 or 30 foot thick. So they really rely on these uh, tidal cracks and, and holes because they can't, they can't get through that. So it puts them in very particular places which sets up the scenario of competition for breathing holes. My name is Ed Farrell. I'm a research assistant at the Marine Science Institute at the University of Texas at Austin. I've been with the university since 2009. Uh, and my area of research is animal movement and ecology of large marine predators and large marine animals in general. <laughs> 